Good morning, everyone. I hope that you're having a great day so far. It is Saturday morning here on the ranch. I am feeding cows. We have like 15 inches of snow and 50 mile an hour winds in the forecast for this weekend. So I spent yesterday prepping, getting the cow shed ready. The heifers that have calved, I kicked out so they could mingle with the cows so that those calves can have shelter. Uh, did a few things in the corrals at home so that the heifers that haven't calved will have some shelter. And today, this morning, before the snow and the rain starts, it's just all about feeding a crap ton of bales, making sure everybody's gonna have enough food. It is most likely going to be Monday before I can get a tractor back out to everyone. The same 50 mile an hour winds, 15 inches of snow, the precipitation amount that they're saying is going to come out of the snow is like two to three inches. It's going to be really heavy. It's going to be really wet snow. It's going to be extremely beneficial for this time of the year for our hay and grass crop, but it's going to be a long few days. Carrie is here going to be on the ranch this weekend to help me get through this storm safely, and that's going to be key. Uh, I do imagine there is going to come a point where we are just going to say it is not safe to check cows anymore. Hopefully they're going to be bedded down in the shed and hopefully they'll sit tight. So this is the first bale of like nine or ten that I'm going to feed. Uh, I'm going to get to work. I'm going to show you guys everything that we've done, what the plan is, where everyone is going to hang out and whatnot. And uh, oh, and number eight had her baby today. So uh, we'll find her and see her new little baby. All right, there goes our first bale out my very dirty window. All right, cows are coming into the lot. You can see the babies. You can see Gertie back there in the multi-species pen. She's running. This is my friends. All right, so this is where I want them for the storm. I will be making sure, oh, nope, that calf is in the wrong side of the gate. Cool, cool. <laughs> Alright, so this is where I want them for the storm. I will be closing these gates uh, down here just so that everybody is locked in. Uh, they're going to hang out here and eat hay. I'm going to make sure I have everybody in before I do close the gate. And I'm going to go... We're gonna go sort out this calf. That's Gertie on the right, and then that's a one of the calves, obviously, a calf. She's not supposed to be in that side. Ooh. All right, I am on the other side of the highway with the last year's steer calves that will eventually go into the feedlot. And I'm dropping two bales for them. They're in my way. One's gonna go in this ring feeder. And the second bale I'm gonna put by the shed. to move out of the way guys. There's LOL. There's Max and there's the horses. Let's go drop this other bale by the shed. Alright, bale number two. Watch out! You better move! <laughs> Alright, I'll go pull that net wrap off of that. Alright, here is the second bale for the steers and the bulls and the horses. Water tank is back there. Nice cozy shed for them for this storm. So this side of the road is all set. I am back up here at the cow shed. I already 
already fed them, but they all think they need these bales. I've got three bales with me here at the tractor, in the tractor, and the hustler, and one in the loader. They're gonna get dropped in the shed. So Carrie is bringing the bobcat up. I'm gonna unnet wrap these, drop them off the tractor. And we're gonna put them in the shed. That's the way they have hay that's gonna be dry. The calves can bed down on something. This has always worked well in the past during blizzards. Okay, so Carrie's gonna jump in the bobcat. The cows are being so extremely helpful right now, let me tell you. So everything requires a spotter. We've got one bale ready to be put into here. Come on guys, can we move? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Seriously, we're on the bobcat? We're on the bobcat? <laughs> come on, come on, come on Annie. Hey. Carrie's putting in the third bail. You're good right there, Carrie. All right, so some of the cows are in here and they're gonna eat. They're gonna pull these bales apart. It'll bed it down really nicely. Calves will come in here tonight. Number eight and her calf are still out in the field. I'm gonna to have to get them in. But otherwise, we're looking pretty good. Need to still feed the heifers, bring back some extra bales from the hay yard, fill water tanks. So we're not done yet, but we're making progress. Okay, I have three bales back here in front of the shop. There is a bale in the hustler. Oh, I left the lights on on the tractor. I'm gonna go turn those off. Uh, the hustler is gonna get backed into the sales barn here. So the hustler's at the back. We'll disconnect the hustler and then we can plow because we're gonna have to plow. So trying to set up all my equipment. Bobcat's the same way. It's backed into that white shed bucket facing out so that we can plow and feed. I just saw number eight. I don't know if you guys can see her. I just saw number eight come in. She did not bring her calf. And I saw another cow go out, probably looking for her calf, but her calf's in the lot. So I'm gonna go sort that out and go try and find number eight, number eight's calf out there. All right, Carrie and I are in the truck. We just came out to find number eight's calf. She actually came in to eat, which was perfect. And Carrie was able to sneak around and get the gate closed. And we have a bull calf here in the truck. Number eight is one of the meanest cows on the ranch when she calves. So this actually worked out kind of nice. Otherwise, I don't know that her calf would have gotten tagged. But he's here in the truck. I'll show him to you. <laughs> you want to go back to your mom? 
Should we take you back to your mom? Okay. So I had another cow that I hadn't gone and looked at her number yet, but I, she snuck out as number eight was coming in. And I was just like, oh, she's just gonna go, I don't know, have some grass out there or something. Didn't worry about it, I was like, I'll get her back in. Guess what I found? Her child. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> look who's standing up. Hi. Hi, bud. <laughs> so we're having a little calf party in the truck. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna get them back and we're gonna get that other cow in and get everyone situated. All right, that was number 12 that left her calf out. That was number 19. <laughs> look at the baby. out of here and not let anybody out. All right, well that actually went so much better than expected. I didn't know if we were going to be able to find number eight's calf. It can be really hard when they bed them down in sagebrush to find them. We kind of knew where she was at just because of where she was hanging out while I was finishing feeding and stuff. So very glad that that is done. Didn't think 19 was out. Uh, did know that, you know, we had a cow out. So yeah, she just went back out to find her baby. Gonna do a double count again and make sure everyone is in, but I believe that to be everyone, no other cows have wanted to get out. That's usually an indication that their calves are out. So I think we're good for now. Do you have a baby, 130? Yeah. Good job. I'll leave you alone. We got some snow. It is going to be dark here soon, and so I'm going out to check everybody one last time before it's dark. This will not be the last check of the night, but last check while we have some natural light still. Forecast is still holding steady with the amount of snow that they said we would have. It's blowing. It's icy and slick underneath. I ran to town to get some groceries and it was raining in town. So that's just going to be lovely later, you know, when all this is over. None of the goats are out. Not surprising. So in here's my heifers that have not calved yet. And 130, who's a cow that's had a persistent limp. Oh, there's a heifer. There's Minnie. Is your baby getting a drink? Good deal. All right, they're gonna be okay in here. And I don't think I can get her out. So they're gonna stay in here. I put some straw in. Good, I'm glad your baby's drinking. Awesome. All right, let's do a check on the rest of the heifers. They don't look close to calving. Is there one more behind this bale? I should have four more. Oh, no, there's two in the shed. I think I have some time until they calve. How are you doing, 29? Then we're gonna walk up here and go to the cow barn. Since I'm walking by the stock tank, I'll kick it on. It's not empty, but let's keep it full. Are you getting a drink? Let's go see what's going on in the cow barn. I should have brought my flashlight. We got some babies over there. Yeah, everyone's in.
Hi, guys. Oh, yeah, there's number eight. Okay. <laughs> we'll leave you alone. <laughs> I'm, uh, I definitely am a bit nervous for, you know, what the next 24 to 48 hours is going to bring here on the ranch with the storm. I know that Carrie and I did everything yesterday and today that we could to, uh, to set ourselves up for success, but this is a lot of snow that's coming. It's wet snow. It's calving time. You know, I had two calves born today, number eight and number 130. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, I, <laughs> I'm a little stressed and that's okay. Storms like this have always made me nervous. You're very, you're super powerless. There is only so much you can do. And then, you know, the snow comes and we'll keep checking and I'll keep an eye on everybody and, and hope that I can keep getting to them. But 50 mile an hour winds and lots of snow, you know, there may come a point where it's not safe anymore and you know, they're in the shed and they're going to stay in the shed and they're going to be okay. Um, there's plenty of room. They're being careful, you know, uh, not to say though that something's not going to happen. You know, somebody could be in the back and calving and have problems and, and I don't know that it's happening or a calf could get laid on. It, there's nothing else I can do at this point. If I have to bring somebody in to pull, you know, right now I can set gates and close gates and stuff, but you know, that can get more difficult as time goes on. So, um, I've done what I can and I know that, and you know, I've been through this before. This is not the first blizzard, uh, since I've been on the ranch and yeah, we'll just see, we'll see what the next 24 to 48 hours brings. And, uh, we're going to stay safe and make good decisions. And I hope the cows also do the same. They will, we're going to be okay. We're going to have an optimistic and positive outlook on it and we're going to take it, you know, hour by hour and see what happens as, as the snow comes. So it's not going to end till like Monday afternoon. So we've got a ways to go, but I've done what I can, like I said, and, uh, we'll keep checking on them.
It is Sunday, just right before sunset, and I am headed out to check everybody one last time before it's dark. It got kind of warm today, not kind of warm, it got up to like 31 today, and that means we have a lot of melting that's happening while it's still snowing. Uh, it's wet, really, really wet snow. This is gonna be great for the hay crop, really good start to the hay and pasture season for us, so very, very thankful for that. It is a sloppy mess. I have not had the gator out all day. I have been walking. So I'm going to take the gator, see if I can get through some of the drifts. I may just end up parking it. Um, we're going to head across the road and check on the feedlot. And I did see all the bulls and steers and horses go out to their hay ring earlier. So let's go see what we find over there. too bad. You can see the slush. Oh yeah, look at all the water. There's a big drift. I'm sure the other ones are in the barn. <laughs> and then some of the replacement steers and I see Hyro out there. They're out eating that bale. Very slushy underneath. All right, so there is a sizable drift here. I feel like here is where I'm going to get stuck. So I think we're just going to park the gator and just walk. That's probably the safer bet because I just don't want to have to get the gator unstuck. This is probably the most impressive drift that we have. That's where the nursery was at. So definitely good that I moved them out of there. So much melting has happened today already. so quiet. There's no chickens out. Oh, a couple chickens out. Turkeys. A couple goats out. A couple of the geese. I had to dig out the chicken feeder this morning so they could eat. All right, let's check on 130's baby. She had a heifer. She was laying in the hay earlier and I got her up. There she is. Hi, baby. You snoozing? Tired? Yeah. You had a hard day. Born yesterday. Let's see. Mom's like, what are you doing? All right. 
I'll leave you alone. That'll be fun getting them out of there. Turkey, are we okay? <laughs> You're in the snow drift. <laughs> All right, here's three of the four heifers that still have to calve. Nobody looks like they're doing anything. This is so deep. <laughs> I'm nowhere close to the bottom of this drift and it's up over my boots. <laughs> All right, let's go check on these guys. If I can get in the gate. Couple of cows out, having some lick. Hey, 30. Hey, 22. Look at this mud. <laughs> oh, what a sloppy mess. Hi, babies. Hey, cows. As you can see, everyone's just chilling. I got a couple out eating. Looks like I will be able to get them fed tomorrow and not have to fight too many drifts because all the melting that happened. So that's great. Oh, hey, Therny. Would you like in? Okay. <laughs> Go find your baby. 22, are you coming in too? All right. Nobody has calved since the storm. So that is great. Very happy about that. Looks like they're good. We'll uh, keep checking on them tonight in the middle of the night just to make sure nobody calves. And if someone does calve, make sure baby can get up and gets taken care of. So, looks like we've made it through the worst. There is some snows tonight still, but really glad that it warmed up today. Yeah, they're doing great. The goats are doing well. So is Petunia. They uh, they like animal crackers, don't you, Jackie boy? Yes. <laughs> so I just threw him some treats. That's probably more than they need. The last thing I need to do tonight is to check the barn animals. It's not quite time for them to go inside. I could put them in. And Gertie will need a bottle, but in a bottle. Oh my goodness. What is the matter? Gertie will need her bottle in about an hour. So I did open the door so they could go out. It was afternoon. Gertie, are you starving? They're all just hanging out. Everybody's good. Hi, Forrest. All right. Oh, you guys smell. <laughs> it smells real. It smells real wet in here and and like wet wool. Hey, hey, that is. She just ate my hair. Stop it. Ethel, what do you think of the storm? You over it? <laughs> Gus, got anything to say? So yeah, considering everything that could have happened and gone wrong, I will happily say that things went well up to this point. We're not done yet, but I think we're through the worst of it. The hourly forecast is substantially less than it was. It's kind of, they've downgraded the storm and we are through the worst of it. So, hey, can you not please? <laughs> so I'm happy. Everything so far, like I said, is good. Oh, very stressful, but... This is just the reality of ranching in 
Wyoming that we get these big, huge spring snowstorms. We need these big snowstorms to have hay. Grateful for the moisture. Glad to be through the worst of it. We got to get through about 12 more hours. So thank you guys for being here. Thank you for watching. My tomorrow is going to look all about plowing and, uh, excuse me, excuse me, that is rude. That's my hair. <laughs> plowing and dealing with mud. So first round of mud season, here we come. <laughs> thank you guys. <laughs>